Today, we're in downtown New York City to check out the Zinger 21C V Max, a $2 million 3D printed hypercar that can exceed 250 miles per hour and make over 1200 horsepower. So let's go check it out. So you're looking at the world's most technologically advanced hypercar, one that represents over seven years of technology development and hundreds of millions of dollars of capital investment. It's the world's first human AI designed and 3D printed hypercar. This model comes in two versions, the 21C and the 21C V Max. This is the V Max version, which is designed for straight line acceleration and top speed rather than downforce and carving corners. For comparison, here's what the regular 21C looks like. As you can tell, it's a lot more aggressive, produces a lot more downforce, and has that really cool massive carbon fiber rear wing. It uses a hybrid powertrain developed by the company in-house, which features the world's most power-dense 2.88 liter twin turbocharged V8 and an 800 volt electrical system that together make 1250 horsepower with a 1350 horsepower option available. The engine itself makes 950 horsepower at 11,000 RPM and can run on various octanes of gasoline such as E85 or carbon recycled methanol. This engine is coupled to a hydraulically actuated 7-speed sequential transaxle, which is also designed in-house. It has the ability to skip gears like a dual-clutch transmission, yet weighs almost 60 pounds less. The 800-volt electrical system is charged by a kinetic motor generator unit similar to what's been used in recent Formula One cars. The lithium titanate battery allows the 21C to travel short distances on electricity alone. This car is all-wheel drive and weighs just 2,756 pounds dry. Zinger Vehicles was founded in 2019 by Kevin and Lucas Zinger and currently has 15 dealers worldwide, including locations in London, Barcelona, Munich, Frankfurt, and Tokyo. The Los Angeles-based company is intent on disrupting the auto industry using human AI design to develop the design and performance of its vehicles in an environmentally sustainable way. In addition to the 21C, Zinger is also developing a four-seat coupe called the Hyper GT that will be launched at a later date. The 21C's design was inspired by the SR-71 Blackbird spy plane, including the instrument panel and tandem two-seat layout. This setup also maximizes aerodynamics, lowering drag while providing upwards of two and a half tons of downforce at 200 miles per hour. The VMAX still promotes downforce, but it's optimized for lower drag and better stability at higher speeds. You'll notice that the rear of this car is longer, and that the tail comes down to more of a teardrop shape. This works with underbody aerodynamics to promote less drag without sacrificing much of the downforce required in high-speed straight-line runs. The front of the VMAX is also different, as the canards have been removed and the nose of the car is wider to help direct air around the front tires. The front splitter is also shaped differently to enhance its underbody aerodynamics. The center of the splitter now droops down where its fangs are located. The side sills have also changed and extend towards the backside of the front fenders. The final major change is the addition of aerodynamic plates on both the front and rear wheels. They still have openings to promote brake cooling, but much less air is allowed to flow into the wheels to create the high pressure area inside the wheel well that creates drag. Zinger didn't release any targets for top speed, but they did state that the V8 hybrid setup makes up to 1350 horsepower. The standard 21C is said to be capable of 0 to 60 miles per hour.
hour in just 1.9 seconds and tops out at 253 miles per hour. With the VMAX, it'll be interesting to see what those numbers will be. The manufacturing process is developed by the founder's main business, a company called Divergent 3D. The Divergent process, which is covered by more than 330 patents, uses proprietary software and eliminates the need for traditional component prototyping and expensive tooling and jigs. It allows parts to be designed, pieced together, and tested in cyberspace before they're printed and then assembled in the real world. This not only saves time, but reduces waste as well. The 21C's spidery suspension arms are made from a proprietary high-performance alloy and have an organic look, as if they've been grown rather than cast or machined or stamped. They look like something from nature. The front upper control arms are hollow, with a three-dimensional internal structure. This means they weigh a fraction of traditionally tooled pieces, yet are significantly stronger. Due to the slow nature of the 3D printing process, Zinger said it'll take around 3,000 hours to build each 21C. As a result, the company will stick to extremely low volumes, having a production run of just 80 units. And each one will start at around $2 million. The interior has a tandem two-seat layout, thick carbon fiber door sills, and a digital instrument cluster that has all the important info perfectly laid out for you. I've sat in the front seat of this car before, but I wonder what it's like to sit in the back, especially when this car is driving on the track. It must be a wild experience. Now let's talk to Kevin Zinger himself and hear what he has to say about it. Hi, I'm Kevin Zinger. I'm the founder and CEO of Divergent Technologies and Zinger Vehicles. This is the Zinger 21C. It's an American muscle car 2.0. It is the world's most technologically advanced and fastest street legal uh, car. It's being delivered to our first customers this year. And why should you care about this? This is a car where we've invented a new production system that's fully digital. So that production system takes manufacturing from the typewriter age to the Mac desktop printing age. So what you're seeing and the reason why it performs so well is that we use AI guided by a human designer to generate the design and structure of the car, then print the structure using a 3D printer and materials that our company has designed. And then there's kind of like an octopus looking robotic cell that then takes the different pieces and automatically assembles them. The result is that you have something that is much more material and energy efficient than anything that's ever been built before. And that results in better performance and the system also, because it minimizes the material and energy used and has all recyclable materials, is the first circular economy system that is really environmentally sustainable as manufacturing. That's why you should care. All in all, Zinger is an exciting new automaker with advanced new technology and a new manufacturing process that will push the car industry forward. Their vehicles not only look wild, but are lightweight, strong, powerful, and capable of some serious performance, so I'm looking forward to customer deliveries soon. Let me know in the comments what you think about this car. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.